Well, hello guys, it's Kabuma Gotcha streaming once human, but not me. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you on a shopping spree today up at Blackfell. And uh, please join me and watch the video, and then it will give you some idea on where to get all these special parts from. Just one side of the town is absolutely zombie free. I'll say quarter of a town, actually. And then by the time you get to the petrol station, and that, that's when you start working on your... To try and get your bits and pieces. Anyway, guys, come along and watch the video. Okay, guys, before we go up there and I'll show you what to do, this is the map. This is the area I'm going to take you, okay? To Rockfell, right? My base is down here where the thumb is, okay? Well, your base could be anywhere along the line. It could be inland. It could be on the side. So this is where I'm taking the routes, okay? From my house here from the beach, you just go straight up. So if you look at that thumb there, you'll know where to go, okay? You just keep going all the way up to... As soon as you go, as soon as you see that little red dot there, you're going to know it's red uh, back four, okay? So you'll go there, okay? And as I said, you're in the stadium there, okay? As you're in the stadium, come out left, go to the motel. There's a little, there's a little house here as well, which you can get some stuff. And you get the gear as well, the gear crate there. You start from that little house there. Don't go over here, okay? If you go over here, the drill monsters will get you. So I warn you on that one, don't go as far as that place there. First place, go there, and then the motel. Okay, and from the motel, as you're going to the motel, look across the, the way there. I found gold sitting on the side of the road, and I thought, my God, this is my lucky day. Anyway, I went over and got it. So then we went to the uh, petrol station there, and then we saw, like, I think, one or two zombies there. Yeah, we take them out, we go in the supermarket there, and then we come around the back, and then we jump up on the roof here, and that's when you can start potting off the um, monsters and zombies around the area, okay? Well, anyway, guys, let's watch the video and see, and see if you can do it. Let us know in the comments if you go up there how well you do. There is a bloom uh, monster boy, which I have killed many times, but not in this one. This was just simply as a shopping spree in Blackfell. So sit back, guys, and enjoy the video. Okay, so as soon as you leave the stadium, guys, you head over to the left side, and you'll see a white building to the left of the motel. Head towards there, and what you'll get is a gear crate and a couple of other little things if you keep clicking the F while going around in the uh, restaurant there. So as you can see, we're heading over here. We'll just pop into the little, uh, well, it's a cafe, really. It's not a restaurant. So we'll head in here. Put your light on so you can see. Now, don't worry, guys. There's no zombies on this part of the map. So you can just go around clicking away, getting all your bits and pieces. There you go. There's a gear crate there. So we'll go and get that. And we just have a little look around after that. And then what we'll do, we'll go upstairs and have a look. Right, the first room that you'll come to, there might be just one thing there, but not a lot. But the second room will have a storage crate. So we'll go and then click away. And this is where our shopping spree really starts. Right, the first thing you do is go to the bins just on the right hand side here. The two bins here, get the stuff out, you get quite a bit. And as I said, this is where it really starts getting your bits and pieces. Then head over to the other bins there, you'll see something there as well. Now just remember across the road as well, always look, you might see some gold there. So every time when you're running along here, just look over the other side. I found a great big chunk of gold on the other side from here. Don't forget to check the cupboards and the bedrooms here, guys. Everything is in there. As you can see, I'm picking up loads of stuff here. Just keep checking uh, downstairs and upstairs as well. Okay, you'll see chests laying outside the cabinet chests, shall I say. There'll be nothing in the bathrooms, okay? So don't bother about looking in there. 
Just keep going around to all the cupboards next to the bed. Keep going until you finish downstairs. Go upstairs. And when you finish upstairs, and then you head over towards the garage, which I will show you in a minute. Heading over to the garage now, you should see uh, maybe one zombie or maybe two, all depends. Sometimes when I come here, it's just one and there's one in the supermarket. So just keep an eye out guys, okay? Don't uh, get too frightened here, okay? You'll be all right. First of all, you take this one out with the old stun baton here. I love using this. It's pretty good for close up combat. Okay, in we go. Would there be someone in there? You have to put your torch on guys, okay, to have a look around. Now, as you're in there, keep running around pushing the F button, okay? Because what it is, it's grabbing everything off the shelves. And don't forget, we're on a shopping spree here. We can see a zombie outside the shop there. So we're just, just looking around here, see if there's anything on the shelves, clicking F all the time, which will automatically grab. And uh, we know behind the desk over here, there's going to be a weapons crate there, guys. So, yeah, don't forget that one. That's a big, big yes to get that one, okay, guys? And... Uh, we continue going to the back of the shop in a little minute here. I think a zombie will be coming in here, so we're going to say hello to him. There you go. A couple of whacks on the head. A couple of more. Take our time. And... Bingo! Okay, so we knocked him to the ground. As I said, guys, you can take it easy here. That must probably be the, the one that we'll just see in there, and that's it. So we're still running around the shelves, clicking the F button, okay? which will be grabbing everything. Right, here we go, we're gonna go into here, we turn right. But first of all, just go in here and just click away, get all the extras that are on the shelves there. Here you go, there's the old storage crate. So we'll get this here. And then uh, what we'll do guys, after that, we have finished in the supermarket. We're gonna go running around the back of the supermarket, we're gonna climb up on the roof, and there we should find another storage crate and this is where I will stop talking and let you carry on watching the game, guys. Um, as I said, I haven't done all the bosses, and I, I haven't done all the bosses in this video, but I have before in my streams. 
This is just showing you like a little shopping spree, getting stuff and that. Here you go, this is a storage crate. This is a great place for um, using your sniper rifle if you like to pick off the enemy here. Um, it's really good. So guys, sit back and enjoy. And I'll tell you something towards the end, how another way and a quick way how to get the loots. Which is, um, if you want to get so easy within sort of like maybe less than a minute. And watch all the video guys and then I'll show you how to do it. Can we skip to the good part? No. This is what it is, okay? I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless. Like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle. It becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot. It becomes the teapot. Now water can flow. Or it can crash. Be water, my friend.
Now you're thinking, why am I running up a mountain when I need to carry on clearing out the town? Well, look at this, guys. I'm coming to the edge here, and I'll be looking down, and what do I see? I call that the kitten devil. Okay. Well, this here is pretty easy to kill, actually, but if you're actually down there, it's a little bit hard. So from here, you can shoot him pretty well. And if you don't get him in with, like, three shots, and then he's going to put his, like, well, what you call it, a javelin out. So what you do, you hit the javelin. Every time when you hit that, it'll get weaker and weaker until he dies. So this is a good spot to come up to, up to this little, um, sort of, like, mountain and shoot down. And then when you kill him, you grab his loot that he will drop.
Okay, I think the safest place, guys, is to get up on top of the house on the roof here and shoot this big monster that's down there, okay? Uh, well, it's not that one there. It's the one over here, isn't it? There we go. The one that fires the teddy bears at you. Um, it's the best place, I think, that you can take him out. You're looking down on him. You're shooting. He's going to fire teddy bears at you, which have got bombs on. So stay back at the house on the roof, and you'll be safe. You do have to put a lot of shots in there, though. I mean, I've got a pretty good sniper gun here, and it's uh, doing little sort of damage, but I managed to sort of pluck him off and uh, grab his loot. So, guys, yeah, we're doing all right here, guys.
Well, it's not all over yet, guys. It kind of looks like it, but I'll be showing you another way how to grab the big loot within, say, just coming up to the mountain here, where I'm going now. It will take me about uh, just over a minute glide, I would say. I'm not too sure. It could be less than that. But you see the big tree in front of me there? If you feel like chopping it down, you'll get a lot of logs, and that will fall on rocks as well. That will crush them, and you'll get the gravel, and whatever it crushes, you'll get as well. So um, I was pretty uh, like surprised when I cut this tree down, but not in the video. I've done it other times. It's just that I wanted to stay nice and light to do this glide, just to show you where the loot is here in the town. Now this is the big boy that shines the red light above the uh, treasure chest. So sit back and uh, I'll show you. This is where we uh, have our jump off points here. As you can see, you can see a good view of the um, town down there. So sometimes I put my base up here and uh, I come back sort of like first thing in the morning when I start my game. I kind of use this as like a shopping spree. Get all my bits and pieces and then I play the game afterwards. So uh, it's the big building down there to my left where I'm going now, okay? Uh, you'll see where I picked it up before because you'll see the uh, loot crate has been opened and there's also a boss just near there which I, I think it's the weather channel boss which I didn't fight off in this video but I have done before this is just just showing you um, how you can actually jump around in this town and pick off where you want to land but this one I'm taking you where the loot is guys if you feel like you don't want to run around the town and get the loot it's the big one well just go up the mountain jump off glide all the way down to this um, complex here you'll be just landing in sort of like the gardens of it on the rooftop garden and uh, you'll see in a minute guys before I actually log off right, here we go we're coming in coming into land landing gear down landing <laughs> now here we go guys we're coming in you'll see the loot crate in a minute that I've done before okay right it's just in front of us now so there you go guys, we're coming down and you should see it round about now in front of me. There you go, see we've done it before. And uh, yeah, I had to get away pretty quick and because we looked over that side and there was the uh, weather channel. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my uh, video. Don't forget I'm a Twitch Kabumagotcha streamer. Come and check me out sometime. Thank you, goodbye.